Motor Master. Um, originally I was not really gonna like this guy as much as I thought I would, because this is the head sculpt and the choice of mold, but I'm really starting to love this guy. Plus, of all five Sonicons, this guy just so happens to be my favorite. So he deserves the special treatment. I did say I would save the best for last. So here he is in truck mode. As you can tell, he is a repaint of the animated Earth mode Optimus Prime. Um, I wish they would have used somebody, maybe like, who actually had a physical trailer. Because, um, I mean, it looks okay though, but... It would have been nice if they used somebody who actually had an actual trailer, maybe like, um, uh, maybe Retgar or, uh, Ultra Magnus. Well, not really, I don't think Ultra Magnus would work. Um, uh, anyone, maybe like Retgar. I think really Retgar would have been a better choice for the mold, but I like it. The way the paint colors are, it kind of makes me think this is an animated Nemesis Prime. I bet if you could, you could, uh, screw off the, you could take off the Motor Master head and put it on a Sentinel Prime head. Not Sentinel, uh, Nemesis Prime. Um... I do love how the, the this paint makes it look like his trailer. Um, it looks rather nice, so I'll go ahead and pop that off. This will become one of his weapons in uh, robot mode, or two weapons. Transform him, actually pretty simple. If you have the animated Optimus, this should be of no surprise. Um, go ahead and fold those down. Take the, take the legs. Ah, oh, crap. Lock that in. Pull down. Split. Um, by the way, they did use the Optimus mold twice um, to make this guy and the uh, souvenir figure Fistatron, which was just a repaint of the Optimus. This one has one remolding, which I'll get to in a minute. Those shoulder, those shoulder joints are actually pretty tight. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright. Now for the game changer. Are you ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Bam. That's the cha the game changer for this guy. It's a remolded head. Now, when I first saw this, the picture of this thing online, I thought, there's no way that would look, that would look right. But, you know, now that I actually have the figure in hand, it's actually really, really nice. Um, as I said before, this pops off, and it splits into his two weapons. Uh, the axe, which slides right into his hand. Boar. And his gun, which I guess if you could, you could fill it up with water, do the fire thing, tr the fire trick, or fire, or whatever the heck. I lost my train of thought. But, um, this kind of makes me think, the, the sword and the the axe and the gun make me, remind me of how his weapons were also the weapons for, um, uh, Menasaur. Um, how he could use the sword and the gun. He didn't have a smaller one of his own. Come think of it, they were his own weapons, as well as Menasaur's. This, do I have this guy lopsided? He looks lopsided from my camera view. Maybe just my computer, maybe my, oh wait, maybe my camera's lopsided or something. No, but Sam. I don't help a little bit. But anyway, let's bring all the guys in for a group shot. So here we have their leader, Motor Master. Uh, let me clear a little bit of room off my counter first. Clear some room. All of them can fit. Okay, so let's go and bring them in. First off, we have their leader, Motor Master. The subject of my last review, Wild Rider. Uh, the guy turned girl, Drag Strip. Also known as Decepticon Kill Bill in my case. <laughs> I've never seen Kill Bill. But, uh, I've heard some rumors that it looks a lot like her. I can put them all in the frame. Uh, then we have our Samurai, uh, Rock Warrior Dead End. 
and he'll go over here. Uh oh, I'm going all over the place. Nobody stand up for me. Uh oh, nobody says want to stand for me. Oh, maybe I'll put him over here. Yeah, there we go. That helps. And finally, Mr. Breakdown. Ah, uh, you can go. No, no, in front of the camera. I'll put you back here. There you go. Oh, you're not in frame. But let me just try to get all these guys in the frame here. Uh, uh that'll work. Um, I gotta say, this was well worth the wait. Um, this is probably one of my favorite sets. Um, the only real thing that sucks, and actually would be kind of funny, is if you could take all these guys here and you could combine them into Menasaur. That would actually be an awesome touch. But, um, I don't really think that, uh, BotCon's done a combiner set yet, but if they have, I would be fairly surprised if they ever did. But, um, I'd really love to see that. Um, if you're a fan of the Stunicons, like I am, these guys always were one of my favorite combiners from G1. I'd say snag these little suckers up. Um, I think there's a couple of them still left on the club store. I was fortunate enough to grab this as an icon package when the sets became available. I got the shirt that I'm wearing, my Stunicon race team. I was fortunate enough to get that as a surplus. Um, awesome set, well worth the money I paid. Um, probably my favorite figures are probably Motor Master and Dead End with a uh, drag strip on a shy third, followed by Breakdown and then uh, Wild Rider just because I've had his mold before. But these guys are just awesome figures. I cannot highly recommend them enough. So I guess that is about it. Later, guys. I am out of here.